In this lesson, we're going to add a little bit more to the strumming pattern that we've been looking at in the previous lessons of this series. And if you're just now joining us in this lesson series, what you're watching here at countryguitaronline.com is a country and bluegrass rhythm guitar course where we started in lesson number one learning the most basic country and bluegrass strumming pattern. It was the pattern that I call the most important strumming pattern for country and bluegrass music. And then you can watch all these lessons in order in this course, you know, one, two, three, four, and so on. Um, and each lesson that we go through in this course is going to be a little more complex than the previous, and we'll add in a few more extra accent picks and accent strums to make your rhythm guitar sound more country and bluegrass. So let's zoom in, let's take a look at today's strumming pattern, and I'll give you all some good pointers as we go along for your country and bluegrass rhythm. And I'll show you a good chord progression you can use to practice it over. And then I'll show you a good song that you can use to practice today's strumming pattern over as well. In this series, we started out with that boom chick pattern. Boom chick, boom chick, boom chick, boom chick. Or you could say, pick down, pick down, pick down, pick down. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the previous lessons in the series. So we started with that pattern. Then next in the series, we added an one axis strum to the end of that. We added pick down, pick down, up. 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 And I talked about how that up at the end, sometimes I'll just do a pick of that high E string instead of an up strum. But it's up to y'all, you know, it's just a little accent either strum or, or note there. Pick down, pick down, pick down, pick down. So we did that in the previous lesson. Now in this video, what we're gonna do is pick, pick down. And now let's look at a chord progression that you can use to practice these transitions and practice this strumming pattern. And this is a very basic chord progression here. You got two measures of G, two measures of F, two measures of C, and back to two measures of G, and then you loop back around to the beginning. So there's eight measures in total. And let me play through it, and then I'll, I'll give you all some notes about the strumming. One and two and three and four and... One other thing you can do is add in this really nice chord embellishment over the C major chord part. This one right here, this chord embellishment. And back to the G. So let's play through the whole progression here. G. F. Chord embellishment. touch there. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you see there that chord embellishment, two measures long, so it fits very nicely over the C major chord, which is also two measures long. So instead of that strumming, you're going to do this embellishment here.